everyone, it's Julie and I'm coming to you with another haul video. Yay, I've been shopping. So, for those of you that are new here, what I do is I'm a thrifter. Um, I'm also a sourcer, seller, and I work at a new vintage clothing store in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin called Lava and love that Kate and I opened the store uh, February 4th and it's going amazing it's been super fun um, we had our first event was it last weekend I'm losing track of time and it went amazing it was like it was a clothing swap event it was so much fun so um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what I picked up over this beginning of the week and kind of what I expect to get for it where I'm gonna sell it either online I have a Poshmark store an eBay store um, and then of course I sell directly to anybody who's watching that's interested just let me know if there's something you see that you're interested in we'll chat you can email me at happy vintage shopper at gmail and we will chat um, and I'll tell you kind of what I paid for it and where I got it if I can remember and then um, what I expect to get for it sometimes I know sometimes I don't know sometimes I've looked things up sometimes I haven't um, but yeah here we go are you ready are you ready um, okay I'm ready all right so here we go we're gonna start on this end right here um, so in the store at lava one thing that does sell really well are college t-shirts and college crew necks so um, I picked up this um, little Marquette, which is a, a college in Milwaukee, um, and I paid, it looks like $2.25 for it, it is size extra large, and I think I can probably get 20, like $20 for it. Um, yeah. All right, so I grabbed, this is a vintage Badger, so if you don't know, I, I'm close to the... Um, Madison, which is the state capital, also has UW, University of Wisconsin, Madison. So we do sell a lot of that clothing, but this is a vintage long-sleeved Henley, and this is really soft and really buttery. Here's the tag. You guys always know I love a good vintage tag. Um, this is an Anvil tag. It's 100% cotton made in the USA. But look at that tag. Isn't that cool? I've never seen that one before. So um, this is a size large. So I grabbed that one, and then I grabbed this really fun crew neck. Um, this is Kelvin College. No idea where that is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I did not look it up, but um, it is a crew neck, kind of a, what do you call that? Um, like a heather gray. Here's the tag. Um, I don't think this is vintage. I think it's vintage inspired, um, but the tag is awesome. And then it's, um, what did I say? It was a size large. Very soft, very, very soft. So I grabbed that. I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this little skirt. Denim skirts are really in. Now, really what's in are the really long denim skirts. Um, but I grabbed this one because I thought it was cute. Oh, I didn't tell you what I paid for these. I paid $2.75 for this sweatshirt and... 425 for the long sleeve. So here's a lucky brand, really cool vintage inspired denim skirt. I'll take this to the store, I think. Um, it's really cute. It is a size 8 or a 28. And here's it's a it's it's an older lucky brand tag, I feel like. Um, but it's super cute. Very worn in in the right places, I'd say. So I picked up that one. I like that based on style. Um I don't know, I'll look it up and see what I can get for it on Poshmark and eBay, but I can probably get like 25 for that skirt. And I paid 275. Here is a nice button up. We do carry button ups at the store. We carry short sleeve, long sleeves. Um, but this is a great brand. It's Pendleton. Pendleton! So this I picked up at my honey hole, 100% cotton. So this is vintage. I mean, to say where this is made. This is made in Portland, Oregon. Isn't this cool? This is a size extra large. 
and it was $3.75. So I can probably get hmm, $25 for this at the store. I thought it was great. It's a great, nice big size, which is good for the store. Um, then I grabbed this Wisconsin kind of fun um, long sleeve, but look at the back. How cool is that? Um, I paid $4 for this. And again, I can probably sell this for like 25 ish at the store. Why did my thing shut off? One second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so um, I am back. And then I grabbed this vintage, just a simple blue crew neck, but isn't it great? The tag's been cut out, but it is the brand Russell. Here's the Russell kind of tag on the bottom. I'm guessing it's a size 2X. I paid three bucks for it. I'll sell this at Lava for like, again, like 25-ish, 25-ish. And then I grabbed this one. Look at how cute this is. Like um, little applique kittens, the little um, butterfly. Here's the tag on this one. How cool is that? This is a size large. Um, very, very nice vintage crew neck. I'll take that to the store. Take that to the store. Lots of store things today. Normally I haven't been finding a lot for the store, but this is very wintry. We are not in winter, but I couldn't pass it up because it is amazing. I paid $5.75 for it. And here's the tag, vintage tag. Isn't that cool? Awesome wear, made in the USA. It's got a paper tag under the underneath. It says it's a size small, but it is very oversized. I'm guessing it could fit up to a large, but isn't it like a fun, lodgy kind of um, fleece? It is really cool. So I'll take this to the store. I think when it gets um, when it gets colder out. So I do have a kind of a a. Uh, tote with things that I'm putting in for the store when things get um, cooler out because we just don't have room. If you've been in the store, it's tiny. It's very tiny. So I have to I have to wait with that. Then I picked up this. Isn't she pretty? It's got this like, um, let's see if I can get a better shot of it. This ribbing kind of at the waist. Do I want to keep this for myself? You guys know I struggle with that. This is um, by the brand Rampage. It's an awesome vintage brand. This is 58% um, nylon, 35% Angora rabbit hair, 5% lamb's wool, and a little spandex in there. It's a size large. Well, I know vintage sizing is a little skewed, but this seems more like a, a medium. Dare I try it on? I just really don't know. I might, I might try this one on. So. I paid $5 for this at the Goodwill, and I would take this to Lava if I don't keep it. I mean, come on, you guys, look, it's so cute, so cute. And I grabbed this little number, kind of a rainbow hoodie, which I thought was fun. It's kind of a tie-dyed little number. Now, I only picked this up because I think it's, it's vintage. Here's the fun tag. I mean, I could be wrong, MV Sport, made in Pakistan. So I'm thinking that this is probably vintage, but maybe like 2000s. So, you know, um, it has the reverse weave on the side, which is cool. And it has the kangaroo pocket in the front. It's her classic hoodie. Um, what did I pay for this? Did I tell you already? Two bucks. I paid two bucks for this. So I think I'll take this to the store. It's really, really cute. Really fun eye catcher. Now, this is super cute. So this is a, I've been having some good luck at the St. Vinny's and Jefferson. So here's the tag. So this is a cool vintage tag. I've never heard of this brand, Breaking Loose. This is a small size, it's a 3-4, but it's kind of like this duster, so you could leave it open. Animal print, long, duster length, sleeveless little sheer number. Good for the gothic girls, good for like a, like a concert or something, but how fun is that? So I paid $2 for this. I think I will take this to Lava. 
I don't know what I'll put on it. I, sometimes I have to look up comps to see what things are worth. You know, we really have really great pricing at Lava. Um, I think. So we're trying to move things. We don't want to hang on to stuff. I mean, we do have stuff that's a little bit more pricey just because they are, like, maybe they're 60s or 70s or, you know, but just depends on the market. But I grabbed this little uh, Peter Pan collar top. This is by the brand Eloquy. Um, it's a size um, plus size 18. Isn't this a darling? So this has got like a little puff sleeve on the side and this Peter Pan collar. Super cute, it's navy. Um, I've been picking up a lot of Eloquy and I picked this up at the St. Vinny's in Jefferson and I paid $2.50 for this. And I think I can, I'll list this on, I would list this on um, eBay and Poshmark and probably expect to get like 20-ish for it. I mean, not a huge profit, but I just thought it was so cute. I didn't want to leave it behind. Then I grabbed these. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I am a sucker for neon. If anybody grew up in the 80s, I mean, neon was everything. Neon was everything. I paid $3 for these at St. Vinny's. Okay, so here are the shorts. These are like a Bermuda short in a size medium. I mean, I'll show you the tag. Here's the tag. I mean, come on. It's Fusion Sport, paper tag underneath, 100% cotton, made in the USA, stacking it up to be vintage, 100%. I mean, you're going to a 90s or, you know, like an 80s party, you're going to want to wear these. They even have pockets, for goodness sakes. And no, I'm not keeping these. I would love to keep these, but I don't need these. I know it's not about need sometimes, but these are so cute. So I will take these to the store. So cute. And then I picked up this Wisconsin long sleeve. It's really nice because it has the ribbing on the sleeve. I paid $3 for this. It's got an embroidered Wisconsin on the front, which is amazing. Here's the tag. Um, so yeah, I will take this to the store. So cute. So cute. Then I grabbed this new with tag, which I'll sell on Poshmark and eBay. New with tag, Laura Ashley, size 2X. Here's the tag. Um, it's kind of a nice little tank top with this, like little, I don't know what you call that, layers on the back. But here's the back. It's just real simple. But I thought that this was super cute, and I paid $3.75 for this. I will put this up on Poshmark and eBay. I think. I can probably get only like 25 for it, but I just thought it was super nice. So far nice. Okay. So I have been following some gals on YouTube. You guys know I'm all about the YouTube and following ladies and learning, mostly women I follow. But kind of the style that I'm really into right now is kind of like the slouchy, like pant, slouchy, because in the 80s, we wore like slouchy, like it was slouchy. So I picked up, these are a Capri, a Capri um, um, carpenter pant, which I have got on, I can't show you, but I've got on a pair right now that I have slouched with this little cute top. Maybe I'll do a outfit of the day, I don't know, but here's the, the tag on the back. Um, these are divine. I paid $3 for these, size 10. I mean, I'll take these to the store, but these, these, I'll, maybe I'll see if I can do my first, like, picture inside my video. I've been really wanting to try that, but these are so great. I'm going to take these to the store. I, I, I don't need these, so I promise not to try them on, but they're so cute. Super cute. I, I can't keep everything, you guys. And I grabbed this. So this is a 80s brand. I paid $3 for this. This is an embroidered, um, it's got some embroidery and some, um, what do you call that? Um, I don't know, transfer. So this is by the brand 
Northern Reflections. And Northern Reflections was a brand that I remember being in the Janesville Mall. And I loved that store. I used to buy um, R.N. Ethel things from there all the time because she loved nature and she loved things. And I used to go in there and buy her things for like Christmas and her birthday. Um, but this is a burgundy crew neck. And what did I say? I paid, I paid $3 for the size medium. Nature is like really popular. I'll take this to the store. A lot of stuff for the store. I didn't even realize that. This is a little navy. I don't know if you can tell. Kind of sheer open cardigan. But it's by the brand Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher is a really good, it's an expensive brand to buy new. This is good because it's a petite medium. So it'll be kind of a specialized size. It's super cute. Paid $3.50 for it. So I grabbed that. I will put that on my online store. Um, I have some really good things like at the end I'll show you. But then I went a little crazy with the camo. Crazy with the camo. But camo has been really popular again. Maybe it hasn't ever been out. Has camo ever been out, you guys? Um, I grabbed a bunch of shorts in the cargo style. Cargo, kind of factor stacking. Um, Kaylee, Elaine, which you guys know I follow on YouTube, and I've learned so much from her. Um, and she's amazing. But factor stacking is what she calls it. You kind of factor stack all of the, you know, all to kind of see if it's something good to pick up. And you should also look up comps, um, which I don't always do to check the sell through rate on things. But if I'm gonna take it to the store, I know, kind of know what sells at the store. Um, so these are, I'll just go through these really quickly, but these are a pair of camel shorts. The brand is Helix. Um, it's a great size. I'll sell these online. It's a size 40, because they are new with tag. So if the brand is Helix. It has a lot of fun, whoops, a lot of fun pockets, which cargo pants usually do, usually do. Um, so the cargo pants that are selling are more like the rugged looking ones, like the more hardy ones. Um, I sold it a really nice pair of American Eagle, like a reddish color men's cargo short for really good money on Poshmark. And I could just tell by grabbing them that they were vintage A, B, they were that, that really rugged, heavy duty short. So here's a pair of cargo shorts. These are this pop, um, this brand, which is Urban Pipeline, which isn't completely vintage, but these were 375. These are a size 34, which is a great size. I'll take those to the store. These are all gonna be for the store. This is that same brand, um, and these are in a size 33, which would fit my husband, but he wouldn't probably wear these. But these are really rugged. You can just tell that they're extra kind of, I don't know how to explain it, like a chunkier like fabric. These are really fun. So these are another pair of really nice, um, kind of a, like a, like a green, Kind of a sagey green. This is that Urban Pipeline again. I think these are a little bit older. These are a size 32 waist. So all of these I paid $3.75 for. That's where I'm in my honey hole. That's how much they have on shorts. I grabbed these or another pair of cargos. I got these all in the same day. This is the brand Lee Dungarees. And the size on these is a 34, which is awesome. Then the last pair was this pair. And I hemmed and hawed, hawed a little bit over these just because, I don't know, did I need another pair of camo shorts? Why not? So I said, uh, Julie, they're $3.75. They're a great size. They're a 42. They have this inside drawstring, which is great. Um, it gives it more of that rugged look. They're cargo. They factor stack great. Um, the brand, here's the brand. I don't know this brand. Do you guys know this brand? rugged wear it's called but i grabbed them i thought that was good 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 then i grabbed these pair of fit flops you guys know i love this brand i wear these a lot i wear fit flops exclusively in the summer i have several pair of flip flop tennis shoes so if you have problems with your feet at all 
give these a try, this brand a try. So I paid $2.50 for these. These have a cork kind of wedge, really great condition, almost brand new. I can probably, I'll sell these online, probably get 40 for these, 40 bucks for those. Get those listed right away because they're sandals. Yeah, and then, so you guys know I have a little bit of a problem with leather. I can't, I, if it's a good price, kind of my sweet spot buying leather is 20 bucks and under. And then kind of looking at that factor stacking again, like, is it vintage? Is it soft and buttery? Is it soft and buttery? Is it, um, you can just tell, is it, it's not, make sure it's not crispy. You know what I mean? Um, one of the things we do sell a lot of at the store, not a lot of, but often, <laughs> are leather vests. Now this is a vintage Berman's, here's the tag. Look at that tag, you guys. Look at that tag. So good. This is a size 46, made in Korea. I mean, men's full leather, like it's full. It doesn't have like the like the nylon in the back. I mean, this is fully leather. Very, very smart looking leather vest. Paid $4.50. I'll take this to the store. I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet, but I will look it up and find out. And then, so I have a closet in my office where I do, where I have all my shoes. And I brought home a bunch of leather jackets from the store just because we didn't have room. And I have a whole closet full of leather. Yeah, I do. I do, I, I know. But I bought another one. Don't tell Kate. <laughs> but she'll say you had to. That's what she'll say. So this is a black leather blazer men's blazer look at this thing this thing is brand new condition here's the tag this is a awesome brand if you are looking for vintage the scully brand is amazing it's a size 44 which is a great size this baby is beautiful here's the little buttons on the side it is beautiful fully lined extra buttons um, does anybody ever check the pockets when they get stuff to see if there's anything in the pockets? I do all the time. I haven't ever found anything like super exciting. Now here's a candy wrapper. It's a candy wrapper. It's not going to do me anything, so we'll toss that. But this, so someone wore it once, but this is amazing. Maybe they bought it for a wedding that they were in, but look at this nice detail here, this Western. This is delicious. Delicious. Mwah. Delicious. Okay. That's it. That's everything. That's all that I picked up at the thrift um, this week, the beginning of this week. And I think I did pretty good. Um, I'm going to put all of this stuff in my Hulkin, um, which is my bag that I used to take stuff from my house to the store. It's got wheels on it. If you don't know what a Hulkin is, look up a Hulkin, man. It'll If you are a reseller, it will change your life. A Hulkin will change your life anyway that's it that's all i have for you today so follow me here so subscribe to my channel it'll help me out a ton don't forget to like this video comment let me know what was your favorite thing what was your favorite or what do you have a memory of or you know just let's just dig into it let's just let me hear what you're thinking that'd be awesome um so that's it that's everything that's all i got for today um, come and see me at the store. I'll be there today, which is Friday. Check our hours. We're open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday right now. I'm sure our hours will change once it gets to fall and winter, but right now that's what we're doing. And, you know, check out my Poshmark and eBay store. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram and all the places. I post a lot of different content there. A lot of fun, different things. So, that's all I have for you today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. And don't forget, happy shopping, everyone. Bye.